but uh, it is ready to go to the printer. Not that I'm going to send this out, but if I pick landscape, you can see uh, it's ready to go to the printer. So uh, right now you have to rely on a PDF for each sheet size, and then you can use Adobe Acrobat to add them together. That's really the only thing we can do right now. But okay, so yeah, we have some other examples uh, to look at. I want to look at meters set up in millimeters, and then I also want to look at some really fun examples that users have uh, passed on to me about some layouts that they've set up. And I do have some. The reason why we set up a layout for the floor plan is that it's it's really big. It's 50 feet okay, wide or 49 feet high, something, uh, something like that. And we need to scale it down to fit on the, the sheet of paper. With jewelry, we're going to do just the opposite. And a lot of small you know, parts or intricate parts that people design, we want to scale them up in the detail so they look appropriate on the sheet of paper. And the steps are the same. So we're going to be using the same rules that we've laid down here. Uh, but when we go to set our detail size, uh, we're going to pick something that is appropriate to show the detail of that object, which in this case, instead of having 96 units to one unit on the layout, we, uh, we may have a half a unit in the model to one unit on the layout. So, um, so let's look at some some other more interesting examples. So I'm going to save this and 